Active shooter events can occur anywhere at any time, and frequently involve individuals attempting to kill others indiscriminately. These events are unpredictable and can evolve quickly. For this reason, whenever you enter a building as an employee, guest, or customer, you must be prepared and know what it is you will do if faced with the worst case scenario, even if it's just another day at the office. Last night, every time I closed my eyes, all I could see were slide decks. Don't remind me. Sorry I'm late. Did I miss anything? Hey, you got a minute to catch me up on that thing? Yeah, uh, come on in. Is Amelia here too? Uh, let me grab her, okay? okay. Yeah, thank you. When startled by a gunshot, it's a natural human reaction to freeze. Unfortunately, this response leaves you vulnerable to what might come next. If you see someone frozen in place in this type of situation, make your best attempt to assist them. I think it's critical that we find a way to make sure this doesn't happen again. We've wasted way too much time. That's gunfire. Are you sure that was a that, gunshot? That's gunfire. Is that really a gunshot? Yeah. Oh, call the police. Move over there. Come on, get away from the door. If you can't easily evacuate, the best option is to hide. Lock the door, stay close to the ground, and try to find cover from any stray gunfire that may penetrate the walls. If you're able, call 911. What was that? Sounded like a gunshot. What should we do? Come on, let's get out of here. When possible, the best alternative in an active shooter event is to run. If your path is clear and you can safely reach an exit, evacuate as soon as possible. Of course, some may not have such easy access to a safe exit. In these situations, you must decide for yourself whether it is best to evacuate or to hide. As with any of these options, if you do choose to run, commit to this action. And remember, police will be arriving to assist you and to evacuate the wounded, so be sure to keep your hands up and empty as you clear the building. Otherwise, put simply, don't stop running. Once clear of danger, make contact with 911 to assist their response by providing them information about the shooter, the weapons they're carrying, and the amount of wounded that may still need medical assistance. If you have been unable to evacuate and are trapped in the facility during an active shooter situation, remember, making the decision to hide does not prevent you from putting up a fight later. If you are confronted by the active shooter, you have to assume that your actions are all that stand between yourself, your colleagues, and grave harm. Fight for your life. Search around you for sharp or heavy objects that you may use to disable the attacker. Collaborate with those around you to ensure you aren't acting alone. You're taking action for your survival, so do not hold back, and do not stop fighting until you know beyond certainty that you are safe. Committing to run, to hide, or to fight will keep you safer than if you freeze during a crisis. Remember to prioritize your safety. If you come across those who are wounded and may need assistance, assist them if you can, but do not let them inhibit your escape. As an individual, the most important thing you can do to keep yourself safe, whether it is to run, hide, or to fight, is to commit to your decision and to continuously reevaluate the situation. If you own a business or operate a large public facility, you may be able to better enable individual response to such events by identifying emergency escape routes and exits. 
Use this information to design evacuation plans that can be used by employees and guests to your facility. Reach out to law enforcement to see if they'll come to your facility and assist you in drafting your response plan or guide you to training that may assist employees in their survival. Remember, this training may be the difference between life or death. See about technology you may be able to incorporate to make your facility safer, which may include audio or visual cues for those with access and functional needs. Plan for and train your employees to assist those who may not be able to run, hide, or fight. Equip them with a first aid or a go kit, an emergency ladder in case you're not on the first story, and explore the possibility of mass notification technologies, which may enable you to alert those in the area of any present dangers. Of course, the hope is that neither you nor any of your friends or colleagues will ever be confronted with an active shooter situation. However, should the worst case occur, know that you can always run, hide, or fight. For more information and resources on active shooter preparedness and response, please visit dhs.gov slash active dash shooter dash preparedness, including DHS's new Active Shooter Preparedness Virtual Learning Center, a feature-length video sponsored by the Department of Homeland Security that can teach you how to mitigate, respond to, and better react if confronted with an active shooter event.